Now let's cover one of the most fundamental parts about sheet metal modeling, making the flange. Let's talk about making flanges in a Libre. Uh, first, I'll activate a 2D sketch and create a tab. We'll choose a rectangle by center and I'll make it a dimension of six by eight. We'll go six over here and eight. I can also add a horizontal if I wish to fully constrain and we'll deactivate the sketch. I'll click tab here and there we have our tab, but we want a flange. So let's make a flange here and go through uh, what our options are. So I click flange in the menu and this comes up and we'll say edge. And I can click an edge and it automatically generates a flange for me. Immediately, I may wish to have a certain alignment with my flange. And what I've done here is, if you can see, I've created a sketch, whereas I wanted my tab to end on this line. And right now, I have this set to adjacent. Adjacent means that I'll start my flange with the curvature beginning at the end of my tab. And so the entire curve, the bend, and the flange are all added dimensions to what I've already done. But I can also choose in, outside rather. And here I have my sketch and this inside face of this flange lines up with the end of my tab. Or I can choose inside where now on my sketch the uh, flange is completely contained within the length of my tab that I originally specified. So we can, we can summarize this alignment as being something that, how do we want to dimensionally handle our flange? Do we want it to be completely contained within the tab that we made originally? Do we want it completely outside of the flange that we've made originally? I tend to like thinking about it in terms of being adjacent, but you can use whichever one you need the most. Next, how long do we want this flat wall to be? And where do we want to measure that from? Well, I have one option here that is from the inside. So I can measure from this face to the top of that face is going to be a distance of one inch. However, I can also choose outside where at this bottom face here to this top face is my distance. And I can also choose just the tab length or from the very end of my bend all the way up to the top is one inch. I tend to go for the inside measurement, but all of these are available depending on your needs. We'll go through these options in a later video. And then for width offset, let's say that I want to shorten uh, each side of my flange by one inch. I can say one here. You can see we're now offset in one inch and I can do the same on the other side if I so wish, just like that. And I can also change my bend angle. Instead of 90, what if I want 45? What if I want 180? Well, I can do all these and more. But I'll leave this to 90 degrees. We're gonna go zero and zero. Finally, we can go to advanced and I can say, what kind of relief do I want? I can change my relief from rectangular to round, just like we did in sheet metal parameters, except this uh, will be the parameter for just this one flange and not every single flange in our sheet metal part. So if you want a unique value for your reliefs, this is a great option to do that. Otherwise, it'll default to your sheet metal parameters that you set up here. You can also use your own K factor, which I really don't recommend changing and just going with whatever you have in your sheet metal parameters. And we also have corners, but that will be covered in another video as well. Now I also have the option to add multiple flanges at the same time. Maybe I'll give this a length of two inches and click apply. So that's how we cover flanges in a Libre. And that's how we make flanges, but in the next video, we're going to go even further.